Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining with me again today. Um, uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can use Python or uh, library to take a screenshot and search for the screenshot on your uh, window. So I'm going to go ahead and get it started. So for writing the code, I'm going to use PyCharm IDE, which is a really convenient and easy and have like very versatile. So if you uh, use Python quite often, you can uh, try this out. So I import PyAutoGUI, and I'm going to import, I think that's all I need now. Then definition, I'm going to call the function locate image take any parameter and next thing we're going to do we're going to call the pyautoclick function so in the last video we used coordinates specific coordinates for uh, clicking on any specific icon for example if I wanted to click on this Google Chrome icon um, I had to figure out any specific pixel inside that icon so that I can click on that but in this time we're going to uh, use the image so I've already taken a screenshot, so I want to minimize, let's say I want to minimize this um, iCharm window. So I've already taken a screenshot of this minimizer icon here, and I'm just going to go ahead and write the name for that. Minimize.png, and I'm going to go ahead and call the function locate.image, and if I go ahead and run the function, it's going to go ahead and minimize the icon or uh, the PyCharm window. So now we can uh, locate any that we can locate anything on our screen uh, as long as we have the screenshot of it. Uh, one more thing we can do we can also minimize like uh, manipulate the coordinates. So right now we we'll only put input the image but if, what if we want the coordinates of that image so we don't know where exactly that image is we want the coordinates of that image. So we can go ahead and pi. Uh, we're going to store that coordinate uh, for image in this variable. Pi article dot locate on screen. So the function that we use to locate or get the coordinates for an image is locate on screen. And go ahead and get the name of the image. Don't forget to put the dot png and put it put the name in parentheses. And now if we go and print towards the image, we'll get the coordinates of the screenshot that we took. As you can see, um, the it printed out the left top width and height. So the dimensions of the image. So what it basically means is left corner. So the left corner top, top left corner of the image this is the x value and y value of the coordinate for the pixel of the, on the top left of the image. And width and the height is the width and the height basically right now. So we can, one more thing we can do is right now we only have the coordinate of the top left corner. What if we want the coordinates of the middle, which is much more convenient than if we want to click on somewhere. We basically some, most of the time want to click on the middle of that icon or somewhere. So uh, we can go ahead and create another variable for start. So center and what we're going to do is by this is center. So by center and if we just put the name of the variable that stored the dimensions. Uh, so this is the dimension. And if we go ahead and print out um, chords center as well, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. As you can see, uh, now we have, as before, we have the dimensions, top left, um, left, top, width, and height. And we have a coordinate point that is the middle of the picture. So this X and Y coordinate is a little bit slightly different than the top left because the middle is a little bit far away from the top left. So that's why this is this coordinate is the middle, basically the middle of the picture, the pixel in the middle of the picture. We can also separately only call x or y. So for example, now since we have 
we already have uh, coordinates for the middle of this. So if we want to click on um, the cancel icon or the cancel uh, button, what we can do is we can get the coordinates instead of taking another screenshot and search for it in the screen, which is really time consuming. Since we always know there is a minimizer icon, there is a maximizer icon, and there is a cancel icon right next to it. So this order really changes. What we can do is first we can go ahead and find the coordinates. Um, I, power degree dot position. Um, let's say pass position. Let's call the variable as pass and let's print that out. So now I'm going to put the cursor here and go ahead and run this. So what it will do is it's going to go ahead and find the coordinates first for the dimensions already we discussed and then point uh, the middle of the minimizer icon and then we have another point that is um, the coordinates for the cancel point. So now why we don't just use this because for example if we minimized it and we have a minimized version of this so in that case we can only um, I'm going to go ahead and try to tell you so if you want to click on click, we want to click on the cancel button as well. Instead of clicking on the, we got the coordinates for the minimizer button, and using that coordinates, we're going to um, click the cancel button. So here, what we can do is, since the, for example, if you want to click on the minimizer icon, the x-axis is only going to change. So if we have the same y-axis, it's still going to work because it's on the same level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call the chords center since we always want to click on the center of the image uh, of the button. So center, image center. The first variable is x coordinate. So and the x coordinate here is almost 100 pixel more for the cross button than for the middle of this minimizer icon. So I'm just going to go ahead and it's more than 110. So I'm going to go ahead and 110, put 110. And for Y coordinates from top to bottom is the same. It should be the same as this one because it, the Y coordinate from the height does not need to change. So coordinate center is 1. And now we don't even have need to find the position. It will automatically find the minimizer and using that coordinate click on the cross button. So it doesn't, we, if we have one reference form or reference screenshot, it can use that to click on other references that not, does not change. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that quick. Control shift F10. See, it crossed it. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much. I hope uh, the video was helpful. And if there's any other question, do let me know on the um, comment. And if you have any other question about normally, generally Python code, that's also do let me know. And I'll be happy to help. Um, have a good day.